How do you do? It's me, Stefan Burchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor, with your latest episode of Networking Nuggets, which is my little baby, which is an exploration of networking in order to build our businesses. So today I want to talk to you about mindset. I was just doing an interview with somebody and they brought up the interesting point about mindset. Um, people don't think about that as important when it comes to networking. I mean, the long story short is if you're in a crappy mood, are you going to be effective in your networking? So you're going out. The sole purpose of networking is to meet people, to make connections, people that you can either help with your services or people that you can connect with that can help you with your services or people that can give you referrals. That's the whole point. So if you're in a crappy mood, mindset's not there. You're not in a good space to be networking. Some of us, like myself, you go throw yourself in an environment and that puts you in a better space. Sometimes that's possible, not always. Um, so mindset is really, really important. So mindset could be something as simple as meditation. So what do you do to feed your mind? That's what I want you to think about when you think about mindset. What do you do to feed your mind? What do you do to inspire yourself? There are no right or wrong answers. It's whatever works for you that lights you up and inspires you. That's what mindset is for you. So for myself, that's meditating. I meditate, um, I attend other meetings, um, I read sales books and I read inspiring books. Um, in the evening, I read uh, how-to books. Um, during the day, I don't listen to the news. I don't have a news channel on. I do not make a point of putting myself in those environments. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's one of the first things I think of when I think of mindset. Another one is education mindset. So if you're in an industry that requires education, what are you doing to feed yourself? What are you doing to feed your mind? Um, most of us have to get CEUs and get more education in our business, but what could complement that that could make you a better professional? So for instance, for myself, I listen to Dan Kennedy. He's a sales uh, guru, and then Darren Hardy. He's another uh, motivational speaker and sales guru. So I look to these people and they inspire me. So I am fed content by them that is A, inspiring, but B, it translates into my business. Um, another place I get some good feeding of my mind is, believe it or not, Twitter. Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I follow specific people that are giving professional and positive um, motivational posts. So I enjoy reading those things and it, it can uplift my day because I can get distracted in Twitter for five minutes and I read a bunch of motivational quotes and things and stories and it just lights me up, makes me feel better. So, and another way to feed our mind is therapy. <laughs> if you're somebody, the, people think of therapy as something that you're broken and you need to get fixed. Therapy is not necessarily, I'm broken and need to get fixed. I still, to this day, see a therapist, and that therapist assists me with my life. So they're almost like a coach, but they're a clinical coach. So we go over what's going on in my life, we go over challenges, we go over wins, and it's just a place to talk, and a place to vent, and a place to get perspective. And my therapist also points out where I've improved and where I'm excelling in my life. And that makes a huge difference as well. Um, coaching. Do you get coached? They say that the best salespeople have a coach. So are you being coached? And what a coach does is they push you to be better than you would be able to do on your own. It gives you somebody to be accountable to. So you have to actually do stuff and fulfill on the words or fulfill on your promises. You have to actually do what you said you would do. And one final one is what I would call a mastermind group. What a mastermind group is a group of individuals either in the same industry or not, and you get together either virtually or face to face, and you all have set goals of what you want to accomplish uh, week to week, and you listen to each other and you support each other and you hold each other accountable for the things that you said you would do. 
So that is also another great way to feed your mind. So I hope some of these things inspired you or made you go, hmm, I wonder. So again, feeding the mind mindset is just as important as all the other things that we talk about with networking. I'm Stefan Burchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor, taking knots out of real estate, and I hope you enjoyed this latest episode of Networking Nuggets.